Hello and welcome. Integration, enrichment, a very special integral today. Uh, this, uh, there's a handful of integrals that have sentimental value for me. Uh, it's because um, they go back to my sort of like my learning days. This particular integral, I never actually managed to do it when I was uh, learning maths. Um, uh, it took me years afterwards to actually see how this is done and uh, the clue came in an American book uh, the Shaum outline series that had uh, similar kind of integrals and uh, I just realized what you probably need to do and I eventually managed it okay uh, what do we start with something like that okay uh, normal things that perhaps we could try there is various substitutions. First of all, you can try with the substitution u is equal to the square root of that, or just the argument of there. Uh, I don't think it does work. You can try substitutions such as um, x squared is equal to tan theta, or x squared is equal to the shine of theta. Again, um, I I don't think this will work. I mean, I haven't tried this integral recently, but I remember this was part of my techniques in those days and I couldn't get anywhere with it. So this particular integral is very, very messy and requires an awful lot of preparation. So I'm going to show you how you you you, you work with, with this particular one, what you can actually do. Uh, I'll be interested to know if there's another way of doing to the one that I'm going to show you in there, but that's the, the only one that I, I'm aware of. Okay, we're going to use a substitution and the substitution is in fact u is equal to 1 minus x squared over 1 plus x squared. So I'm going to write it up here. So eventually my integral will transform to u times, I need to transform the, of course, of course, 1 over the square root of that and also my dx. So I need to do a lot of preparatory work before I get into actually doing things. Okay, so do I do the u by dx in all of this? Well, I can. But probably it's easier if you look at the, the, what I've got in there and I've got this x to the 4 um, it's probably better to get an x squared out of this it'll be probably be easier to differentiate so for this particular one um, let's rearrange it first of all u plus ux squared is equal to 1 minus x squared um, I'm gonna put the uh, x squared bits onto this side so x squared plus ux squared is 1 minus u. Factorize the x squared, 1 plus u is equal to 1 minus u. And eventually my x squared is going to be 1 minus u over 1 plus u. Uh, and I can also change the limits uh, at this stage. So the limits when x is equal to 0, uh, this will be 0. So the 0 will map into a 1. And when I put one on the numerator here, this will be coming to zero. So the zeros, so the, the limits will literally swap. Okay, so this is my x squared. I need perhaps to get my dx. So um, the best thing to do with this particular one now is to say x is of course uh, one, actually I'll probably write it like this, one minus um, u, over 1 plus u to the power of a half. I don't need plus or minus because of the limits concerned in here. If x is between 0 and 1, this quantity is therefore a, a positive quantity and therefore this has to be a plus square root. So now I have a real mess to do. I need my dx out of that. So I'm going to move them to the side, to sorry, to the middle of the board do my works and I'll come back here. So dx by du for this in, for this uh, quantity here is going to be a half 1 minus u over 1 plus u to the power of negative half times the differential of this quantity, which is a quotient rule. So it's going to be 1 plus u all squared. Uh, put the 1 plus u on the top left times the differential of the top, which is a minus 1. Minus, leave the top alone, 1 minus u times a 1. Okay, I don't even know why I put these extra brackets in there. So let's tidy this up a little bit. Uh, a half. Uh, what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to flip it 
and move the square root separately. So something like that. Oops, I said I'm gonna flip it, but I didn't. So one minus u to the power of a half. So that's this bit here, flipped. And I've used the minus basically. And let's tidy this. So it's going to be one plus u squared on the denominator. And what have I got on the top? I've got on the top a minus one minus u, and then I got another minus uh, one and a plus u. So this will now simplify to uh, a half. I'll do the final simplification at the very end. So let's uh, do a few more steps. This you have to be very careful. It's very easy to make mistakes. So the u's will cancel and I get a minus two over one plus u or squared. And therefore, uh, I can cancel the 2 with a 2. I still got a minus. So I'm going to put the minus at the front so I don't lose it. And I'm going to have this at the bottom. That's the only bracket that has 1 minus u. And I got to be a half there and to the 2 there. So I'm going to end up with 1 plus u to the 3 over 2. So this is now my dx by the u. And therefore, uh, I'm going to write it on the side here my dx is going to be equal to minus du. I'm going to write it here to save a bit of space. That's the minus du. And I have 1 minus u to the half, 1 plus u to the 3 over 2. Um, another thing which is problematic with this particular integral is the workings are so long in terms of getting somewhere. So a lot of the time, uh, People might just give up and say, no, it can't be that. It's just so messy. There's no way anything decent will come out of this. So do we have more stuff to get? Let's see what we've done so far. We transformed the limits. The limits have been transformed. Um, I've got an x squared, but the x squared, I don't really need it for this bit here because my whole substitution, all of this is my u. So I got my dx here. I just need to get an expression for the square root of one plus x to the four. So again, I'm going to work in the middle of the board and then just write all my bits and pieces on the side. So what is, let's not work one over the square root of that. Let's work first of all, what is um, x to the four plus one? Okay, um, what is that? Uh, I will get this particular expression quite clearly. That's my x squared, let's square it again. So it's going to be 1 minus u squared over 1 plus u or squared plus 1 put into a single fraction. So I have 1 minus u or squared plus 1 plus u or squared. So common denominator there. I will leave this bracket like this, but I will expand obviously the top. So the top is going to give me 1 minus 2u plus u squared. It's just that the u's will cancel and I'm going to get two of the rest. So 1 plus 2u plus u squared. 1 plus u, oops. 1 plus u squared. So these things cancel. And what do I get now? It doesn't simplify further. Um, I'm going to get a 2 plus 2u squared over 1 plus u or squared, factorize it to perhaps 2, 1 plus u squared. I hope I haven't made any mistake in there. This is actually very long and very nasty. It's one of the integrals, my first experiences with integration that really did scare me, but it gave me huge satisfaction when I actually did it. Okay, so that is the x to the 4 plus 1. So quite clearly, um, 1 over because that's what I got there, 1 over 1 plus x to the 4 is going to be equal to, is this quantity flipped and square rooted? So it's going to be the positive square root of that. So it's going to be, um, if I, let me just write it first of all in full. So at the moment flipped first of all, 1 plus u all squared over 2, 1 plus u squared like this, 
inside the square root and what will happen now okay so this will be now give me fraction line 1 plus u over the square root of 2 times um, let me just write it in um, as a bracket 1 plus u squared to the power of a half I don't really like this uh, bit in here it doesn't fit with the rest of the quantities let's hope I haven't made any mistakes okay let's write it on the side here and now we are ready to finish him off and uh, as I said I hope uh, no mistakes okay uh, 1 plus u over the square root of 2 1 plus u squared to the power of a half so here's all the bits now collected and we're ready to go um, okay let's clear the board and now return now to the blue integral on the top left and see what happens okay the limits first of all swap but I think there's a minus somewhere on the dx bit so that will flip them back to normal remember in this integral my u is that over that so I'm going to have a u and that's this bit here and then I've got times 1 over that which is this quantity here so times 1 plus u over the square root of 2 I should really have written that on the other side I'll do it on the next line 1 plus u squared to the power of a half so that's up to there and I need my dx my dx is here it's going to be times a minus du and I've got to have to be careful one the one minus u is to the power of a half and the one plus u is to the power of three over two so the question now is what's the likelihood of that giving you something meaningful it looks actually worse than the original okay let's do bits at a time first of all this one over root two moving my side the minus from there I swap the limits zero to one so that's done what will I get now let me just write it before I cancel because I can see some cancellations but I don't want to lose things by mistake I go u one plus u so that is on the top that's those two the minus I took care of the root two is gone and I've got this we have to be careful is nothing to do with any of this so it's one plus u squared to the power of a half one minus u to the power of a half and this will cancel with that not all of it unfortunately to the three over two du three over two three over two okay let's do this cancellation first of all zero to one um we're losing this is to the one this is to the three over two so it's going to leave me just the u on the top and at the bottom i will have to the half this i didn't touch it and this now will go to the power of a half and my d and now i think that's okay um and i think if we made a mistake it's a silly mistake rather than a conceptual mistake some do with algebraic so first of all these two quantities i'm going to write them and uh, let's i'm gonna do it here and wrap it off uh one minus u to the a half one plus u to the power of a half is of course the same as one oops i wrote this stupidly it's incorrect in fact what i've just written is not what i've got in there i'm looking at this bit here 1 minus u to the a half, 1 plus u to the power of a half, of course, 1 minus u, 1 plus u, all to the power of a half, which is, of course, a difference of squares, which, of course, is 1 minus u squared to the power of a half. So that is, let me just write it, this bit here is, in fact, 1 minus u squared to the power of a half. But then there's more. Look at this one next to him okay so we can repeat the process and I hope you can see what's going to happen in there we have one plus so now I'm looking that times that is one minus u squared to the power of a half one minus u squared to the power of a half is of course equal to one minus u squared one plus u squared 
all to the power of a half. And of course, it's another difference of squares. So that's going to be 1 minus u to the 4 to the power of a half. So all of this now, so that is this bit here now. So that and that produce 1 minus u to the 4 to the power of a half. You can do the side workings, but uh, I hope uh, it's, it's all clear. I don't want to skip writing the whole interval just and just do this manipulation. It'll be several lines. Uh, and just totally unnecessary. Okay, so now this it actually looks not so bad. It simplified massively. We still got the u on the top, and at the bottom we got the square root of one minus u to the four du. And of course, this you can do another substitution, but if we reach that stage, we have survived all of this up to this point and you, we cannot see this particular integral uh, there's something wrong with us um, we should be able to see that's the arc sine of u squared I mean if you differentiate uh, the arc sine of u squared so d by du what you're going to get is you're going to get of course 2u that's the chain I'm doing first over the square root of 1 minus u squared all squared which is u to the fourth so that is exactly what I've got there but for a factor of two so this now can be integrated fully and this will now give me this is equal to um, one over root two times another half to get rid of this and now I have arc sine of u squared between the limits of zero and one and I think now this is just a trivial evaluation to finish him off. Okay, so what will that give us? Uh, it will give us, of course, um, <clears throat> the arc sine of one square or one is pi over two. The other one is zero. So if we're going to get a one over root two times a half times a pi over two. And of course, the answer to that will be pi over root 2 or you can rationalize it and get uh, whatever you need to get in there and uh, I hope you you followed all of this it was absolutely disgusting if you think about it and uh, uh, I'm so happy I managed to do it eventually it did uh, haunt me in my sort of like early years of maths okay I'll be signing out I'll see you very soon